What's going on YouTube? We are back for another video and as you can see we have an imperialism map and it is the SEC, not just the SEC, next year's SEC including Oklahoma and Texas on the map. So we have 16 teams. Conferences are getting massive next year. 16 teams in the SEC, I think 18 or something in the Big Ten. It's crazy. Soon there's going to be only like two to three conferences. If you don't know how Imperialism map works, we will have a wheel, we will spin it, and then we will have an arrow, and we will also spin it. For example, LSU will attack to their southwest, and in that scenario, they would take on Texas because that's the closest team to them, but that's just a test run. Now, we will have the official first matchup, and whoever is attacking will be the road team, and then... At the end, only one team will be standing. Here we go. First spin. Spin the wheel. Spin the arrow. And it looks like it's going to be Oklahoma, one of the brand new SEC teams coming into the SEC next year. And they will be attacking to their northeast. And to their northeast is actually going to be Missouri. So our first matchup is going to be Missouri hosting Oklahoma. Here we go, kicking it off with a Missouri, who had an incredible year, capping it off with a dub in the Cotton Bowl over Ohio State. But I do believe their head coach left to go to LSU to be a defensive coordinator. Interesting move, but it is what it is. They will be taking on an Oklahoma newcomer to the SEC. Oklahoma trying to get their first ever dub in the SEC, leading 21-10 to on the road in Missouri. Let's see if they can hold on to the lead. Missouri didn't score a single point after half, meaning Oklahoma is going to get a dominant win in our first matchup. 24-10, they will be taking all Missouri's land, and we will spin again. All right, Missouri has been eliminated from the wheel. We spin again, and it looks like it's going to be Oklahoma again. Back-to-back -back games, they'll be heading south. Let's see who they'll be taking on. Straight south is obviously Texas A&M. So, Oklahoma has to go on the road and get pick up another dub against Texas A&M to stay alive. Oklahoma might just steamroll the whole SEC they're up 28 to nothing over Texas A&M, looking to take down their second SEC team in two games. Let's see how the second half goes, but it looks like they're going to handily win this game. Texas A&M gave it a good try, trying to come back in the second half, but being down by that much at half, it was a long shot. They do put up 22 in the second half, losing by 12 to Oklahoma. So Oklahoma will take over half of Texas, and they're rolling on all cylinders to start this video. Texas A&M's video is over. All right, let's see if we can get somebody other than Oklahoma on a spin in, nope, we're, we're not letting him play three times in a row. We're, we're spinning again. That's ridiculous. I don't know how it keeps doing that, but it looks like it is gonna be Ole Miss heading to their southeast. Ole Miss right here to their southeast is gonna be this little part of Auburn. So Ole Miss will head on the road to Auburn. It looks like we might have our first close game in the video. Auburn leads 14 to 10 over Ole Miss, but I do believe Ole Miss starts the second half with the ball. Let's see how this game is going to end. Auburn leading by four with seven seconds remaining. Ole Miss needs a touchdown. A field goal will not do it. They need to get closer to the end zone or go for it all. And they had a man down the left side, and he overthrew him. And on fourth down, they'll have one more shot at glory. Let's see what they can do. Are they going to win it, or is the video for them going to be over? Three seconds remaining, all or nothing here. Jackson Dart slings it down the right side, tipped up in the air, and it hits the ground as Auburn's going to pick up the dub and Ole Miss land. And Ole Miss's video comes to a very, very short end. We'll spin the wheel again. Here we go, we spin again. Let's see who is gonna land on it. Looks like it's gonna be Auburn playing again, heading southeast. I'm not sure if there's a team southeast of Auburn. Let's check it out. There is a team, the Panhandle of Florida, so Auburn will be heading to the swamp to take on the Gators. 
Auburn had a big win last game, but they trail 14 to nothing on the road against Florida. They're going to need a huge comeback here, or their run is going to end at one dub. Let's see what happens. Auburn was able to come back and tie it up 14-14. Two seconds remaining. Florida's got one play to go for the end zone, or this thing's going to overtime. He's going to sling it down the left side. He's got a man. He catches it, and he gets it into the end zone. There was three wide receivers and only one defender. How do you let that happen, Auburn? You came all the way back just to give up a Hail Mary touchdown for the game as Auburn's video comes to an end and Florida continues. Another team down. Both of the new SEC teams, Texas and Oklahoma, are still alive as Vanderbilt will be taking on the team to their south. And that team to their south is going to be Mississippi State. This should be an interesting matchup. Vandy surprisingly on the road, leading by 7 over Mississippi State. This could be an interesting upset. If Vandy can hold on, let's see if they can. What an absolute domination by Vanderbilt. They were leading by 14-21 to 21 this whole entire game. Mississippi State just could not get a stop on defense as they're going to sling it down the right side, throw it over the head. But this one is all but over. Vandy's going to pick up the dub in Mississippi State's video is all over. Here we go. Another team down. Another spin on the wheel, and it's going to be Arkansas heading to their northwest. And that team that they're going to be playing is Oklahoma, playing in their third game of the video already. But this one will be at home. Let's see if they can pick up their third dub, or can Arkansas take all their land? Oklahoma is seeming like they're going to be unstoppable this video. 21-6 to at home over Arkansas. In the first half, let's see what the second half has in store for us. Arkansas has brought it all the way back. They only trail by 5. 44 seconds left. They have a timeout, but they're tasked with a 4th and 6 that they must pick up or this game is over. Let's see what KJ Jefferson's got for us as he's letting the play clock run as far down as possible. So he has as little time to score a touchdown as he possibly can for some reason, but... Fourth and six, he's going to scramble and get sacked, and that's the game. Oklahoma is going to pull this one out a little closer than they would have liked, but they keep their streak going. We are down to just 10 teams remaining. Let's see who's going to be playing, and it's going to be Florida playing again in their second matchup, and they will be heading to the Northeast. And that team to their Northeast is going to be the Georgia Bulldogs, so they have to go on the road and win a big game for them. Let's see if they can do it. At the half, Georgia only leads by one. So this should be a good game all the way to the final minutes. Let's see what's going to happen. Florida is leading. They just scored a touchdown. And Georgia has to return this kick or their video will end in one game. The back-to-back -back national champions and their video is over after one game against Florida. They pick up the dub, and Florida is now 2-0 in the video. And they have either the most land or the second most land behind Oklahoma. Those two teams are dominating so far in this video. I was not expecting Georgia to be gone after one game, but Florida picks up the upset. And now LSU will be heading directly east and that team directly east of them is going to be Florida let's see if they can keep it going they have a crazy amount of land this is a low scoring game I would have thought the exact opposite with that LSU defense but Florida leading seven did nothing at home looking to pick up their third straight dub let's see if they can do it I mean what is showing Florida has put on in this video leading by 10 two scores LSU has a 4th and 7, time's ticking, this one's all but over. I just want to show you guys a play from the game. So, 4th and 7, they're letting the time tick down. They've pretty much given up at this point, not even hiking the ball as early as they can. They're actually waiting as late as they can. Jaden Daniels is going to get the pass off, finding an open receiver, but with 4 seconds left, 
it is going to be too little, too late. This will be the final play of the game. They are going to lose. They get the spike off. It won't matter. Florida wins. LSU's video is over after one game, and now we're down to eight teams left in the SEC. And Texas has yet to play, and Oklahoma is dominating so far. They've got a chance to win this thing. We've still got a lot of teams who have yet to play. Let's see if we can get one, and there it is, Texas heading south. I'm not sure if there is a team south. Let's go check. Yeah, there's no team south of Texas, so we'll spin again. Texas Dodgers is bold not having to play there. Let's spin again. All right, here we go. Texas Dodgers a bullet on that one, but Tennessee will be heading to their northeast. Let's see if anybody's. To Texas's northeast is going to be Kentucky, so a matchup between two teams that have yet to play. Let's see who's going to be getting their first dub, and let's see who's going to be out after one game. We've got a close one, 17-14. Tennessee leads on the road by three. This one should come down to the wire. Let's see who's going to take it. Kentucky scored a late touchdown, but they couldn't get the onside kick. So Tennessee is going to be able to just knee it out and pick up the dub. A hard-fought game by both teams. But Tennessee is going to continue in this video. Let's spin again, see who's going to be playing. We're getting closer and closer to the finals. And it looks like Tennessee is going to have to play again, heading to the northwest might be Vandy. Let's go check. And to the north and west, we're going to call it right here. This corner right here, it hits it. Tennessee heading to Vandy to see to see who will take the dub. Low scoring matchup. Both defenses playing great. But Tennessee did find the end zone once in the first half, leading 7 to nothing. Vanderbilt, they're, they're fighting. They're trying their best to win this game and get the upset. But they've only got six seconds left, and they need a touchdown. They're going to sling it deep down the left side, and it is going to drop to the ground as Tennessee is going to pick up the dub. Hard-fought game by Vandy. Their video is over, and Tennessee advances. Let's see who's going to be playing next. All right, here we go. Another spin on the wheel, and it's going to be South Carolina, who has yet to play this whole entire video, they will be heading south. And heading south will be Florida, who's been on an incredible run this video. They're headed to the swamp to see if they can take down the Gators. The Florida Gators continue to dominate in this video. I don't know who they have on their team that is making a play this good. I don't know if Tim Tebow came back or who came back to play for the Gators, but they're playing incredible. Up 14-0 at the half over South Carolina. South Carolina's got a fourth and three, trailing by seven to Florida with a minute 11 left. If Florida gets a stop here, this game's all but over. South Carolina, this is huge for them, trying to tie this game up. But Florida will have an opportunity to go down and win it if South Carolina scores here. They're running down as much clock as they can. They're gonna hike it at two. Rattler looks right wide open receiver on the right side, and they're going to tie this bad boy up, giving Florida 50 seconds with three timeouts to win it. Here we are in the second overtime. South Carolina started with the ball, and they missed a 20-yard field goal. Now Florida first and goal. All they need is a singular point, whether it's from a touchdown or a field goal. They will win this game. As long as they do not turn this ball over. First and goal from the five. They should probably hand it off. And that's exactly what they're going to do. Break a tackle. Get down to the three yard line. Second and goal. Second and goal for the Gators. Probably going to hand it off again. And that's exactly what they do. Getting down to the two yard line. Third and goal. Expecting probably another run. Nope. They're going to drop back to pass, find a wide open man streaking across the field, and they're going to win. Florida keeps it going, taking down South Carolina in their first game of the video, and we are down to five teams remaining. With only five teams remaining, let's see who the spin is going to land on. It is Florida heading to their east. Let's see if they have anybody to their east. There's nobody really to Florida's east, so we'll spin again. And hopes to see who's going to. 
All right, here we go. We're spinning again because nobody was to Florida's east, and now Tennessee has to head north. I'm not sure if they have anybody north either. There's nobody to Tennessee's north, so we will spin for the third time. All right, here we go. Spinning once again. Let's see who it's going to be. Tennessee to the north. Nobody there. We're spinning again. Here we go. We've got Florida heading west. There should be somebody west of them. Let's go check. Yup, to the west of Florida is Texas. Texas playing in their first game of the video they have yet to play. So, they'll be hosting Florida, who's been on an incredible run in this video. Uh-oh, Florida is at risk of losing for the first time in a while. Texas leads by seven over the Gators at half, but... We still got a lot of game to play. Let's see what happens. Florida had an incredible run in this video, but it looks like it is going to come to an end as Texas, one of the two brand new teams in the SEC, is going to take them down, winning 20-10 to 10 over the Gators, picking up all their land in one game, and we are now down to four teams. We are down to four and both of the new SEC teams are still alive. And Alabama getting landed on for the first time in the video will have to take on the team to their east. And that team to their east is obviously Texas who just picked up a ton of land. So Alabama will be heading to Texas to take them on for the second time this year. Low scoring game but Alabama Dominated the first half 13 to nothing at the half trying to get revenge for what happened in the regular season this year Let's see how this one is going to end up Alabama dominated this one from beginning to end Texas didn't even score a point till the fourth quarter Then they tried to come back scoring two touchdowns late But it isn't going to be enough as they lose 30 to 14 to Bama as Bama wins their first game of the video And we are now down to three teams three teams remain who is it gonna be and it's gonna be Oklahoma heading south obviously to Oklahoma south is Alabama because they just took down Texas and got all that land so we will have Oklahoma going to Tuscaloosa to take on Alabama winner of that will take on Tennessee in our championship let's see who's gonna be here we go can Oklahoma pull off the road win and have a chance to win the SEC imperialism in their first try? Or is Alabama going to continue to dominate the SEC advancing to this SEC imperialism championship? Let's find out right now. Not much happening in the first quarter. Alabama picks up a field goal. Alabama with a massive second quarter extending their lead from just three all the way up to 14 at the half. Both teams get a touchdown, but Oklahoma's got to pick it up if they want to come back as they trail by two touchdowns heading into the final quarter. Another dominant win for Alabama as Oklahoma's fantastic run is going to come to an end in this one. Alabama 34, Oklahoma 10. So we will have an Alabama-Tennessee SEC Imperialism Championship. Let's spin the wheel, see who will be the away team. You do not want to win this wheel spin right here. We are only going to be spinning the wheel because it doesn't matter where they're attacking. There's only two teams left. So the winner of this wheel spin will be the away team. So you do not want to win this wheel spin right here. So let's see who is going to be going on the road. And it's going to be Tennessee going on the road to take on Alabama in our final game of this SEC imperialism. Let's see how it's going to shape out. And just a final map update, this is what it's looking like. Alabama owns about 80 to 85% of this map, but it doesn't matter. All Tennessee needs to do is win one game, and they own it all. Let's see what's going to happen. Here we go. I honestly think either team could take this dub, but I am leaning a little bit towards Alabama because they have home field advantage, and they're coming off two straight dubs to get here. But... You never know anything could happen. Let's find out. Both teams get on the scoreboard in the first quarter. Alabama leads 7-3, but Tennessee's got the ball inside the red zone looking to score. 
What an insane second quarter by Tennessee. They now lead 24-7 to at the half. What a quarter. Alabama cuts the lead to 10 as they score a couple touchdowns in the third quarter, but they're going to have to make a comeback down 10 to start the final quarter. Alabama tasked with a 4th and 3 trailing by a touchdown with 43 seconds left. If they do not pick this up, this game is all over because Alabama has no timeouts. They're going to run the ball right side, and he's not going to get it as Tennessee is going to be your SEC imperialism champions with Oklahoma and Texas included in it. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let's go take a look at the final map dominated by Tennessee. Tennessee did it. They win their first imperialism on my channel, I do believe, in this SEC imperialism. I hope you guys did enjoy. Like and subscribe if you did enjoy. That's going to do it for me. Peace.